I see dead people. Season 7 is finally here. This season started off quite strong with some surprising appearances. As you know with My Hero's production is not the best. I'm saying that as the team could definitely do a better job. It's just that time constraints are the thing. But My Hero definitely had some really great looking episodes. And that's what I'm going to talk about this video. Before that, I'm going to say some stuff. I'm not going to compare it much to the manga. Because I'll be honest, I scrolled a bit of the chapters that was adapted. It's mostly one to one. So yeah. And yes, I am a manga reader. I stopped at like chapter 375. One last thing is that this is not going to be like my soul leveling or JJK videos where I make animation analysis for most of the episodes. Maybe if this gets views, I'll do more. <laughs> if there is a standout episode for my hero, I'll probably make a video out of that. But this season is said to be like 21 episodes, which is probably a blessing for the team. Fundamentally, these two episodes are pretty strong. The drawings, storyboards, animation and direction is great yes the art direction is not the greatest although it doesn't bother me much but in an objective standpoint it is pretty bland i mean this shot of the sky is a nice contrast with a deep blue color and it fit the vibe of the scene same goes for this one with the absence of the previous director masahiro mokai the new series director for season 7 naomi nakayama bringing in some new visual stylistic traits in the storyboards nakayama helmed the storyboard for the first episode with the help of takahiro komori a longtime bones member and ikuro Sato as the episode director. The fight was not the most craziest thing ever, but it definitely displays how big scale the fight was, the way some shot was framed, how spacious it is, so that we could see how gigantic Catherine's air form is. It's also easier to move big Catherine because the fact that it's transparent, well, you're not supposed to see it, it is just air but for us viewers we can see it although the movement aspects of it is nothing crazy but the heavy weighty feel to it really conveys how strong it is and the environment slash effects surrounding it adds to the destructiveness some cuts really sells it animated by some of the regulars shun shibata with stars and stripes forming the air form really great effects and transformation well it's not really a transformation morphing i i, I, I don't know how dynamic the shot is with the effects and some nice detail like the jet is 2d subtle character acting of cast in hand struggling a bit to like clench her fist. After she Mori's cut, nice anticipation, some really nice effects with the cloud moving and the impact frames. Damn, those impact frames are so good. Probably the highlight of the episode, Jason Yao's sequence. Again, effects are great with some nice per perspective shots. The amount of effects is very nice here. I think Nakayama's usage of split screened are a really nice add, while also with some of the explanation parts using a more stylistic chibi designs with very cartoonish and one-dimensional coloring, and the stylistic design on Kasserine is very interesting to watch. The CG usage too, they've been implementing their CG a lot more for the past like two to three seasons. The first three seasons and maybe season four, although the use of CG is here and there, it's now very apparent that they are using it more often. And an example for this episode, the jets are sometimes 3D, which is great because sometimes I don't even realize that the jets are CG. And the missiles too, that's CG, which will be very apparent in the next episode. But a more emphasis for this episode is the drawing quality, especially Stars and Stripe. The animation directors for the episode was Yoshihiki Kodaira and Takashi Murai that provided us with consistently strong drawings for Catherine using very thick line art for a more menacing look to her and not just Catherine that had the good looking drawing some were friends and Shigaraki. Episode 2 or episode... Wait, what is it again? Episode 140? Nakayama and Komori is back storyboarding again with Tomo Okubo and Shoji Ukeno as the episode director. Again, the scene with this type of sky, I think it matched really well. Same thing with this episode, it's the same traits. The framing work really displays how big scale the fight is and Nakayama's own traits is present with the split screen and the explanation scenes. The CG missiles and how the clouds below it are CG too just conveys how fast these missiles are going. Shun Shibata again with his sequence is one of the examples of great timing. The heavy feel when Catherine grabs the missile. Also, she was lunged forward too. I think that's like an original scene, not in the manga. This shot here loved the clouds surrounding them and the water is animated also. The compositing aspects of it does the scene more favors. A surprising return, Kazuya Miwa, who hasn't been involved since season 1, that did the state of the art hypersonic intercontinental, no, intercontinental cruise punch. Is that like a WWE title or something? Love the visualization of Shigiraki with I think like inky lines. I forgot the inky lines were supposed to hide the 
the no moose so still cool though great cut this one really reminds me of a cut from black clover i'll find it when i'm editing cassidy and her giant form like rotating just adds more force to it i mean come on the explosion is crazy the fact that the water splashes first with multi-layered shading then the explosion that's a really nice detail because your meal is just a god effects also some nice little impact frames so that it's more impactful crazy burnt shigaraki could have been better the textures of it i mean it's or it's it's the same textures as like previous seasons i mean what can you do this episode has mostly the same things the same traits good storyboards to layouts scale of the fight some nice visualizations i think this episode just had more animation power of course there's other stuff in this one the glaring one is the character supervision again the emphasis of consistently strong and on model designs are very present this episode yoshihiko makoshi who did the a part the character designer for my hero probably gave us some of the most consistent looking episodes in season 6. His output in season 6 was a lot compared to previous seasons because of the movies kind of hindered his work for the TV series. He is probably involved in the fourth movie which is surprising that he's here and also animation direct the OP. The way it's storyboarded it really shows Umakoshi's supervision on the characters. Usually it's Yuki Hayashi that supervised the OP. I mean he AD'd both OPs and EDs last season. I also think that Hayashi is involved in the movie. From what I remember, he did some of the character designs for the villains. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what was it? Bad All Might or... I forgot the name. Just looks like Hayashi's Hi design. Just great drawings through and through for part A. When the characters are moving too, especially this cut, amazing. Always love the thicker line art on the characters. Part B was aided by Noriko Horishima. Didn't break the momentum of good looking drawings. The design on the villains and Clash 1A was great. Really nice that they put two of the strongest ADs in one episode. Also the sequence is from the first movie that Horishima also AD'd, which is nice. A canon movie. Sorry, I keep saying non-canon. I forgot. Got to say the new soundtracks by Yuki Hayashi, not the animator, the composer, are incredible. And the episode director Shoji Ikeno really plays those tracks really well. I mean this scene where the music just stops was great. I mean Stars and Stripes death was yeah. As a manga reader, it's kinda trash that she has to be gone this quickly. I think it's a good conclusion for the fight, though at least give her more screen time. Or at least a like, couple of chapters. I, I get a sort of plot in that and whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. I'll be honest, I could use New Order better. Ready? New rule. Shigaraki. Shit yourself. The most standout sequence is Haruka Ida, a Yutapan inspired animator. I mean, it's obvious the spearing work, cubic debris, and the shading work too for the first cut. The red absence on this whole sequence really makes it more menacing. The absolute force that every movement, thanks to the drawings, also really makes this scene more impactful with Yuki Hayashi's music too. The emotional beats hits too, and Horishima's corrections really adds to some of the scenes. Oh, yeah, this CG skeleton was cool. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Aki's Devil. Overall, season 3 had a strong start. As usual, it's the beginning of the production, so expect the quality to maybe waver a bit in later episodes since there's also a movie. Yes, it's a different team, but some of the animators are going to be involved too in the movie and the TV series because animators would rather work on the movie with a better schedule and better uh, freedom in terms of the storyboards. It's probably going to be more action-packed compared to the last season, which was also quite action-packed. Again, My Hero doesn't have the best schedule. Having only 20 21 episodes helped a bit and the first couple of episodes will be way more polished compared to episodes late in the seasons. I mean both episodes only had two ADs so yay good schedule. There will be highlight episodes as usual Yutaka Nakamura will do some stuff. Hopefully since last season his output wasn't much because he storyboarded and animated quite a bit in the second OP. Maybe Hakuigo will randomly return to direct an episode. I actually need to stop this opium. Naomi Nakayama brought in some interesting ideas and concept for the season. Also, this is random, but why did they put in <laughs> Invisible Girl's real face in the OP? I'm not gonna show it for people who don't want to see it. I mean, either way, it's not it's not gonna change anything if you saw her face or not. Excited for what's gonna happen this season. Hopefully, the team can do it justice with the limited time that they have. So yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you hate it. Leave a like, comment down below what are your thoughts about the first two episodes of the season, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, see you guys next time.